something walked across my mind Screaming at my conscious eye Written in a question rhyme What's the point? Why even try? But crying over rivers Crying over rivers for months, yeah Price of chasing fame, dollar someone else can gain. What's up, world? It's your girl Brittany, and today I have my good friend Mateo. How What's are up? you? What's up? What's up, yo? Here, I like when you touch me like that. This nice. is great. Yeah, that's nice. Um, okay, so you just performed for our office. Yeah, yeah, it was and nice. it, it was amazing. Thank you. I almost cried. You did cry. I, I almost did. You did? Yeah, but you just didn't know. That, that makes me feel good, actually. Because I have a really good poker face. Oh, okay, good, good. Um, so tell me about your new EP. It's been out for about a month now. Yo. We've met before. Yes. How is it like seeing a girl and being like, yo, I. Yo, I've met you before, and I'm trying to know <laughs> you a little better. Yo, I mean, um, it's always like that, you know what I'm saying? Especially, we actually get pissed because you're like, yo, y'all remember me? We met before, and I must not have made an impression. First of all, that's the first thing. Okay. Um, nah, I mean, this is the EP period. I mean, like, we, we came with the title because, you know, a lot of people have known. I've been around for a little while. Yeah. Kind of grinding, putting out mixtapes and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And so, we were like, yo, you know, yeah, we've met before. Like, you know my music now. Yeah, let's get past that. Like, yo check out the new shit, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's on another level. And um, so we wanted to put out kind of this appetizer to the album, um, like, so you can get a taste of like what's going to be on the album. And I'm excited, it's some, some great stuff. about like the trials and tribulations of starting your music career. Mm -hmm. You once did a nine to five. Yep. You ran a cubicle. Yeah. Living that cube life. That cubicle life, you know what I mean? What was it that really like, when was it that you, did you just wake up one morning like, listen, like I'm over it, mm -hmm. like quitting my job and I'm just gonna do my music thing. Yeah, it was, literally, it was literally like that. It was okay. really like that. I mean, I, had, I came up to New York, got a job, was working like crazy hours. In a cubicle, you know what I mean? I know you don't have to deal with that on a regular basis of getting bored and distracted at your desk. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was one of those things like, you know, I could, I was just felt like I was dying every day. It was just like, uh, just, and it was a realization to me because I'd always been doing music on the side. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, I don't want to grow up like what shoulda, coulda, woulda is about what I want my life to be about, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, let me just, I was, I was talking to my mom, I was at the office and I was like, yo, I just want to do music. So I put this really, really, really bad demo together because i know it's bad because i've listened to it recently it's, it's pretty bad you know what i mean and um and I, I i had that and i took it to some producers that i met mm -hmm. and I, one producer i met was from la but he was from philly but he went out to la he was doing some music supervision stuff like doing music for tv like eve and cuts and all these other shows and um and so he liked it and he was like yo i want you to be one of my first artists and we got to la and so i just like quit and i moved to la and that's how it happened So probably um, early 2014. Yeah, like first quarter next year. Um, you know, we put out we just put out the single to radio like a couple weeks ago. So we're starting to get more like rotation and buzz on that. You know, get on some tours in, in the fall and um, keep pushing the EP and just like doing more stuff. Like and hopefully the, the album comes out top of the year. It's 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 the EP times like like a million. You know what I mean? Yeah. In terms of like the the dopeness of it, great songs like. Um, stuff that people have never heard before, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, it's really cool because I was talking about this earlier, like, I really feel like r and going in a direction where you can be very diverse, like, you don't have to sound the same, like, everybody don't have to sound the same, right. everybody can do them, and really, really create really authentic, very, very, like, just dope music, you know what I'm saying? And it, it don't have to be like, oh, it's gotta sound like this to be R&B, no, it's still people singing soulfully about the urban experience, and as long as you're doing that, it's R&B, and, it's, and it, I think it touches home. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Mateo. Be sure to check me out on Twitter, at Mateo. That's M-A-T-E-O. And Mateo online on Instagram. And you are watching Global Grind. Peace, y'all.